A common scenario for FileMaker developers is dealing with data entry issues, and one of the most common is formatted text. But before we get into the technique, if you want to download the example file that goes with this video, you need to learn how to use the Database Pros website. All you need to do is go to databasepros.com. You don't need the index.php, just that part right there. It'll load it up. You can hit the resources button. It's also up here. And then type in what you want to locate. In this case, we're going to type in no style. Hit the find button. And you'll see it's right there. You just click that green button. You'll see right down there in the lower left hand corner, it's showing you it'll download no style.fp7.zip. Now, this is an older file, still very applicable today. I use it all the time in my examples. Why? Because people are always putting in stylized text, especially in contact managers. They go to a web browser and they grab the text by copying and pasting it or dragging and dropping it, and it pulls along that formatting with it. So let's go back to the main screen here and I'll grab some stylized text, copy it to the clipboard. Come back over here. I'll just paste it right there and do a normal paste. And you see it keeps that format. It doesn't take on the formatting that's been applied in layout mode. If we go into layout mode, we'll notice that this is the formatting that's on there. We have, if we go up to format and choose font, we have Verdana, the size and 10 point, and the style is plain, not bold. So anytime you do this, just paste right in there, it's going to take on that, or it's going to keep that formatting in browse mode. And the problem is that it's going to override that layout setting on any layout. Imagine if you have a label. You're trying to print labels for envelopes or something. Well, because somebody copied and pasted or dragged and dropped it with formatting, it's going to keep that. And what if they had a big font or something like that? It could make the label unreadable because it pushes all the text down off the label. So this is a big problem that you need to try to take care of before you have a thousand or ten thousand records with problems in it. So the easiest way to do it is to paste without style. Now you'll see four examples here and this goes through the history of FileMaker developers dealing with this issue. There's all kinds of different things that you need to do. But the easiest one is paste without style. So if I come over here and just simply paste it like I did before, that formatting's kept. But if I use a script, you notice that it doesn't go in there. It's still coming from the clipboard, but it's pasting without style. Now that's a script, but you can also do it through the menu. So if you see under here, we have paste text only. And of course, I have to have this highlighted to do it. So paste text only. It's actually got a keyboard command, Option, Shift, Command, V. I use it all the time. And the script is really the same thing without you know just running a script. And I believe it's attached directly to this button. So we'll double click on it. You see there's a select, no style. That's one of the options that you want to get, the no style option. So paste without style. That's the same thing as what I just showed you under the menus. And that's the thing you need to understand about scripting. It's really mostly automating what you can do under the menus and other features in FileMaker already. So you just have to find the right script step to match what you're trying to do manually. That's not much harder than that. There are some programming aspects, but that's you know the most of it. So that's one way to do it, but the problem with that method is that most people don't think about this. They don't care. The users just want to get their job done fast. So they don't care about, you know, pasting without style. Well, even if you put a button there, they're just going to use a keyboard command because they're used to it. There's other methods here. So I'm going to try pasting here. You'll see when I click in there, as soon as I click out, it's gone. Should be the same with this. And then also this one. These are four different fields. So if you didn't see that, we'll go into layout mode and see text 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we're interested in text 1, 3, and 4. And let's take a look at manage database. So what we're doing in each one of these cases is doing an auto enter. But there are different formulas that came from different eras in FileMaker. And I like to show this because then you know where it came from, how hard it was to do before, and how easy it is to do now. So the first thing we started doing is this. Don't worry about this comment here. We use the evaluate function. Now the evaluate function isn't really designed to do what it's doing. Its idea is to take the contents of a field and evaluate it as a calculation. So I could type in 1 plus 1, evaluate it, and it would give me 2 as a result of this calculation. 
and I could change what the contents of that field were are to one plus two, and then the result would be three. It's going to look at the contents and evaluate it as a file maker calculation. Now, that's handy in itself, but here's what we did. We said evaluate the text one field and put the quote function around it, and that removes all four man. That's essentially what that evaluate function does. When you run that stuff through the evaluate, it just removes all that formatting. It doesn't care about it. Just It's just knowing what FileMaker functions and scripts and other features do so you can take advantage of them and do what you want to do. But that's not really the best way to do it anymore. Here's another way. You'll see an auto enter and realize that all these have the do not replace existing value of field if any. If you don't uncheck this, if it's checked, that means it's only going to auto enter when the contents of that field are empty. And that's never going to be good for you. You always want it to run more like a calculation field and it's auto entering over itself all the time. Anytime you modify that field, it'll auto enter over itself. So this form is a little bit more complicated. Again, really disregard the comment here. But you can see we've put one, two, three, four functions and they're nested within, within each other. And the way this works is it does the first function, textile add. The next function works on the result of that one, the next one on the result of that, and the next one on the result of that. So you can see a lot of zeros here, right? That's because we're setting it to nothing. We don't want any styles. We don't want any color, any fonts, or any sizes. So it removes the style, then it removes the color, then the font, then the size. And it doesn't have to go in this order, but that's the way that FileMaker evaluates it, just for your knowledge. Now here's the method I used today. If you look at this formula, we'll see very simple text format remove. And let me undo that deletion of that comment. It requires FileMaker 8 or later, because that's when this for, uh, feature came in, this function. And so all you have to do is say text format remove. It's right in the text formatting section. It's this one right here. And we simply provide it the field we want, and it'll remove all that formatting in one single function. Great little function. The only trick at this point is knowing to uncheck this option so that it keeps continuing to remove all that formatting. And so this way, you don't have to worry about training your users. You just simply set the fields up that they're causing problems with. That's usually going to be the first name, last name, company, address, city, state, and zip. Set them up as auto enters. And then you won't get any formatted text again. And every layout will print according to your settings.